After the last video, in addition to my normal selling of things and rearranging my inventories, I also killed all of the enemies in the immediate vicinity of New Sorpagal. I didn't think that would be particularly interesting, so I didn't record it, but I got those guys over there, those goblins over there by the bridge, and these ones up here, just so I don't have to worry about them. I mean, it's not like they pose a threat of killing me, but still, that would be a minor enemy. So it's been a while since I've showed what uh, rings and equipment I have on. I don't remember if I decided to put this one on in the last video or after the last video, but just in case, I'll explain that uh, I put it on because it has an extra 14 armor class. Now I'm pretty sure I explained this in the last video, never mind. Um, let's put that there and bring this down here. Looks more symmetrical now, anyway. Um, so I will just uh, quickly go over what sort of rings they all have on and what they do. So Nebula has plus 10 armor class, plus 10 might, increased effective light spells, plus 12 armor class, plus 15 spell points, which I might take off, and plus 11 might. The end has plus 13 might, plus 13 accuracy, plus 21 speed, increased effect of all water spells, might plus 19, might plus 16, uh, Joshipu has plus 21 armor class, plus 21 armor class, plus 10 to endurance health and armor, plus 10 to all resistances, regenerate spell points over time, and plus 10 to all resistances. Deanna has plus 10 to all resistances, plus 24 spell points, plus 10 to all resistances, plus 16 speed, plus 10 spell points and regenerate spell points over time, and accuracy plus 12. So, pretty good stuff. Um, on the agenda for today is to get the obelisks that I am missing. Try to clear out the cave with the dragon riders, and I have a couple ways that I will be going about that. And I will definitely get around to showing more barn in this video. Probably. So, here I have... We have to try it this time. Sweetwater, which I have not been to yet in this playthrough. Paradise Valley, which I went to just to master light, no, dark magic, and then there were, not Kriegspire, but Dragon Sand, and Blackshire. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, I'm going to put these on, and then go to Blackshire via Town Portal. Or no, actually, before I go to Blackshire, I'm going to be going to Dragon Sand, just because I can get there directly from New Circle. Can we assist you? No, I suppose it doesn't. Uh, I should. Oh, I already have fly cast it. All right, never mind. Um, how long is fly on for? Three hours. All right, I gotta watch that. But uh, it it shouldn't matter too much whether I go to Dragon Sand or Blackshire first. But I mostly just feel like going to Dragon Sand first. Now let's. Uh, okay. It's good. Save to save it. Oh. Yeah, okay, no thanks. Another time, but not now. Um, how about this one? Plus 10 7 statistics. That's really good, but again, not now. Actually, wait. If it's just lizards and worms, maybe I could take them out. I might go for those soon. What can I get from here? Wow, that actually exploded. That's good. This is just a one-hit, yeah, one-handed sword. That's good. Very nice. Very nice. Keep it, and I'll keep it. Hopefully, this doesn't do too much damage. Oh, oh. hey, that wasn't bad. I'll keep it, and I will achieve this sword. Increased value. Now, hang on, let's see here. Three to four plus ten, three to three plus twelve. Okay, so this is another Lionheart sword. I actually am going to. 
this time. Keep reloading until I get a good enchantment on it. As long as it doesn't take too long. If it if it gets to the point where uh, I'm just getting really bad luck, then I'm gonna forget about it. But five points of poison damage—that's pretty good. But not quite what I'm looking for. Not really sure what I'm looking for, but um, that's good enough. Now let's see here. 73 to 88, 74 to 86. And this increases his other statistics. And his armor class, and spell points, and hit points. And resistances, although each of them only by one. That's still better, I think. I'll leave that one on. Get a slightly smaller max damage for a slightly higher minimum damage. Take it. Okay. Now to find the obelisk. I've been over here. That's Abdul's area. That's where the pedestal was. The issue now is to find the obelisk. Okay, that's the edge of the map. I was wondering why there weren't any enemies past that point. spending time looking around for Elvis here because I don't know where this one is either. How long do I have left to fly? Good amount of time. Everything else is good. Actually, just south of this area, the Dragon Sand, which explains why all the sand and uh, lizards are here. All right, so just to make sure those counted. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have one and two left now. Um, actually, while I'm over here, just for the sake of completion. Let's clear out these werewolves. She doesn't have meteor shower? That only works at night, doesn't it? Alright. Um, I think there are peasants, I'm not gonna use Armageddon. Didn't think so. Um, I guess I could try this. Yeah. 
quicker in the first place. Besides, I'm going to be moving to Sweetwater and Paradise Valley, meaning I will be losing my uh, my buffs and everything, and then getting my health back. So it doesn't matter much. I should cure that disease. Just in case. I should have picked up the plate armor just for the sake of selling it. The one that was in Dragon Sand. But oh well. A eh, quicker way to get back would be to do that. There we go. And. I'm going to be going to Paradise Valley first because there's something that I want to get and I'm worried that I'll forget about it if I don't get it like now. Alright, alright, um, let's see if I can remember where it is. It should be... I know it's on the top of the map somewhere. Wow, there aren't very many enemies up here. And there are those guys. Let's see if I can take these guys on now. Oh, well, hang on. Uh, no. Let's sort of do some air dances so they don't hit us. And... No! Don't go outside the map, that's cheating. Okay, so I can take the Titans now. I don't know. And they that's that's good. I will take that. Six to eight points of gold damage. Three to four points of gold damage. Two to two plus six. Two to three plus seven. Hmm, that's a tricky one. But I think I'll stick with the one I'm using now. Let's see if I can get an equally good item from this Titan. Come on. Collect the. There we go. What's this? Very nice. Increases effects of all water spells. What does he have on right now? Yeah, forget that. Alright, repair this. Fixed. Repair what got broken. That. Fixed. Alright. Rock. That wasn't it, was it? No. No, okay. There it is. I think. Yeah, that's that's it. Hey, wait, is this really it? Very nice. I... Wow, I got really unlucky. That chest usually has really good stuff in it. I mean, I got a good amount of gold and that... This isn't too bad, I guess. And if I wanted, I could reload and get better stuff, but... It's still disappointing. Get that, uh, let's get that obelisk. Where is it though? It's not this thing, is it? Oh, yes, it is. 
Alright, here's how I'm gonna get it. Do some fly dancing so they don't- Oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? Alright. So as soon as you enter turn-based mode, well, you can actually do it. it. Doesn't have to be as soon as you enter turn-based mode. But when you, uh, when you're in turn-based mode, you can move up and down and fly, and that makes it very difficult for the enemies to hit you. Like right there. Oh, they, they weren't even attacking me. All right, that's done. I'm gonna go to Sweetwater, and now I'm going to place the statuette on the pedestal once I find it, and then get the obelisk, and... Okay, good, no enemies around. That would've been very bad. Music lagging? Alright, I'm, uh... Yeah, we're starting the game. Okay, don't press stop recording. I almost pressed stop recording. Um, there. Alright. Stay as high up as possible to avoid all the enemies. Alright. I don't remember at all where the pedestal or the obelisk are. Nope, I, I see you. I see you. Nope. Ooh, what's this? No, uh, just for agents. Okay, no, 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 I'm not even going close to that. No, 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 I saw you guys, don't. Please don't follow me. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Get away. I hope you can hear this music, too. Actually, I'm going to turn it up a little. To add to the intensity of the situation. Crap, that might be a little too high. If something happens now, it might kind of scare the ass out of me. Alright, so there's that. What's, what's that? Stump? It's not something I can... Oh, okay. Okay, so this quest is completely done. I want to find the rest of the obelisks now, though. Ooh. I don't want to go into that area at all. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to avoid that area. There's the obelisk. And it looks safe. Yes. Okay, it's safe. Okay, so now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we're good. Meaning, let's stay the way, stay away from that area. Go turn in this quest. This is, yeah. Hello. I don't remember him looking like that. No. Good work. Oh, well, that's why. He has his youth again. Good work. I have my youth again, thanks to you. Have you ever thought about assisting me full-time? I could certainly use reliable help. I've managed to collect a variety of trinkets over the years, so please help yourself to a few of these in the chest outside as payment for your services. I need to clean up a few things here, but I think I'll head back to Castle Ironfist and see if there's an opening for a court magician. What does he have to say about it? retreat? I've had to rescue a number of doomed expeditions, and let me tell you the one thing I've learned. If you go somewhere that you don't think you can handle, retreat. No one will think of le less of you for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's so what I just did in, uh, Sweetwater. Dragon Sand is the home and breeding ground of the dragons of Enroth. 
Never will you find a more fierce or terrible monster than a dragon, and never will you find one that is gentle or kind. Alright. So the only quests I have left are story related quests, and of those there are like three left or so. Th this is it. This is it. D How are his name? Oh! Whatever your name was, are you kidding me? Hi. This is... Alright. Didn't even get a good achievement on it. Well... Anyway. Obelisks. Now, I happen to know where it is. So, uh, I'm just gonna... Gonna show. Okay, so it says... So basically, you have to read them top to bottom. And unfortunately, you can't get all 15 of them on one page, so you kind of have to do that to read them. So it says in, so you have I, N, underscore, meaning like space, so I, N, and then that's the end of this word, so in, and then here you have the, another underscore, so that, nah. I think you get the idea. In the land of the dragon... To north. Yeah, I might have read that wrong. No. No, I don't think I did. To north. By. It kind of doesn't help that, it, that the, the characters don't all take up the same amount of space, so you can't just read straight down, because they don't. They're not all in the same position. Uh, to north, uh, north by far north. Oh, wait, hang on, what? To, nor to north by far north? Y you know what? This is a headache. I'm not even gonna bother, like, trying to. To decode it. I mean, you can spend time trying to trying to decode it if you want to figure out what it actually says, or you can go online and just look up what it actually says. But I'm not bothering with that. I'm not bothering with that at all. I'm just gonna do. Come on. Actually, on here, new circle. By the way, the reason, in case I haven't mentioned it, that I use New Circle Temple for healing is just because it's the cheapest by far. Let's save over the playthrough. Alright, so I already went into the area that it's in. That was when I said, oh, let me try something, and then I thought, never mind. Is that one? Might be that one, let's see here. All right. So once you open this chest, you get two hundred fifty thousand gold. I don't know. Oh, very nice. Then you get dark containment and divine intervention. Oh. Then you get the uh, artifact, Igrain. Lord Solomon Stone had this ring commissioned during his tenure as High Priest of the Path in ten o ten eighteen. It gives a huge boost to a user's ability in clerical magic, as well as access access to a good deal of magical energy. Special powers, plus 25 spirit points, and of body, mind, and spirit magic. So that's for her, obviously. Nice. Then there's the artifact Morgan. Though Morgan's origins are unknown, Morgan has had many o owners in the last hundred years, all of them unknown before finding the amulet. The amulet is so mighty, as a matter of fact, that any peasant or child that lays hands on it is sure to become a legend in his own time. Special powers, plus 20 spell points, and of fire, air, water, and earth magic. So that's for... Him, I guess. And then Guinevere. Guinevere was created by the Alchemist Guild under the Stones of Castle Creek Spire many years ago. It boosts the magical resources available to its wearer and eases the use of spells of the Mirrored Path. Special powers, plus 30 spell points of light magic and of dark magic. So that's for him. These two spells. Um, let me just keep them for now. Okay, now let me. Um, let me try to get this off. Oh, there's so many over there. And there's some guarding farm too. 
I want to just like get to safety so I can oh, it looks no. Is there safety up here? There is safety up here. It would appear. All right, we're good. We are good. So, um, we have Morgan and Guinevere for him. Ooh, but that's... Do I have... Generate hit points over time. Yes. So I'll take that. Take off two of his rings. I'll take off that, which I've been meaning to get rid of. And... Um, I guess my is 10. Put on Guinevere. Regenerate hit points over time. And take off this one, because I no longer need to regenerate hit points over time. And now a fire, water, and earth magic. I don't have anything else that generates hit points over time on him, do I? What do I... Oh, that's regenerate spell points. Alright. And then, on her, she has a grain. Which, for which I will get rid of... Um, these are all pretty good. I guess I'll give the resistances to... Um, well, does she have anything else for regenerate spell points? She does have something else for regenerate spell points. Alright, she doesn't need this then. Alright. Good. So that's that. Now, um, I want to clear out those enemies over there. Actually, hang on one moment. Alright. I want to clear out those enemies over there by the rock, just so I can uh, comfortably sit myself by the rock to try to test something out. So, I'm going to... 150. 643 and 611. All right, they can. Well, does she have it? She does have it, right? Okay. All right, that didn't do much damage to them, but I guess it'll help. It's not hurting the dragons at all. All right. Why is it doing so little damage to them? Are they like resistant to dark magic? It's weird. Alright, um, so let's go try to take out these enemies now. Alright, not too bad. Just try not to take on too many of them at once. And if I'm able to do these without too much trouble, that's good news regarding the Cave of the Dragon Riders. Shield, longbow, leather armor. Very nice. Small shield. I'll sell that. Longbow. Sell that. I don't know. Leather armor. Very nice. Hmm. Huh. Nah. All right. Let's go try to get these ones. Something broke. Alright, alright, get out of here. Uh, try to kill... Are the green ones? The green ones are the weakest, I believe. Very big clump of dragons over there that I want to avoid. Let's pick up these corpses, though. Ah, there's nothing I can do. It's fixed. I'm getting a lot of items here. Long sword. Who got the long sword? Aha! Oh, I don't want that. I'm 
pretty sure it's far enough away from the large group of dragons that I won't need to hit them at all to be safe. Uh, whatever. Shit, like... So much stuff. And it's too late to sell it. But, uh... Oh, so I should have mentioned this when I got these, but, um... The two spellbooks in there are spellbooks that you can't get anywhere else in the game. So you have to get all the obelisks to be able to get those spells. And they are... come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. They are the highest level... Uh, light and dark magic spells in the game. So let's heal here. Alright. A lot of stuff broke. I don't know. Uh, it's fixed. Who right. this was yeah that. That really need to organize my inventory. And I, I mean, just even beyond just it's the fixed. load of stuff that I got. No, that's not broken, is it? This is broken. Now. Fixed. That's beyond my skill. Broken. That's beyond my broken. skill. Broken. Fixed. It's fixed. Fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed. Broken. Fixed. And the belt is broken. How do I get the belt off? Um, the shield there, and then take the belt off. It's fixed. There we go. The shield back on. And... And we're good. Alright. Um few more enemies to take out. Hopefully, I'll be safe from the large group of dragons. Actually, am I good right now? No, I should take out the fire lizard right here. I think I could probably get away with just taking out the fire lizard, nothing else. All I can do is just make it a little easier. Because I'm shooting arrows, I don't want him flying away. Well, not flying away, but running away. Uh -huh. I don't want him dodging, basically. Okay. So I... Oh. Yeah, whatever. Very nice. Yes. 2 to 2 plus 6. 2 to 3, drain hit points and increase weapon speed. Does the draining hit points stack? Increased weapon speed is nice. I think I'll go with that, but I'll be saving this. Wait. Wait, hang on. Oh, there it is. Alright. So the thing I know about... Oh, no, who's... He got too close. Let's just kill it. Um, there you go. Got a chance to show off Flying Fist. It does pretty good damage. Who got the boots? Who got the boots? Ah. Oh, got the boots. Alright. <clears throat> Let's put an enchantment race, actually. Let's buy an electric personality. Yeah, I don't need those. Alright, so, here's the thing with this rock. Um, so it gives 250,000 when you open it. Um. 
Alright, you know what? I shouldn't even be surprised at this point. Never mind. So there was supposed to be a little... A bug, I guess, where opening this thing... Each time you open it gives you 250,000. I wasn't too interested in that, because I already have more than enough gold. But, uh... I did want to get multiple copies of these spell books. So let me... I have a pretty good idea of what these two spells do, but just to make sure. Yes. Okay. The spell attempts to trap the force of darkness into its victims, hence the name Dark Containment. The target of the spell will suffer from random effects, though certain creatures are immune to this spell. Yeah. And it costs 200, so. Yeah. And there's Divine Intervention. Once per day, during the rising or setting of the sun, you may call upon the heavens to heal your characters of all damage, restore your spell points, and remove all adverse conditions. The gods exact a price, however, aging the caster ten years for each divine intervention recovery from this... Wait, for each divine intervention recovery from this spell is shortened... Wait, hang on. The gods exact a price... However, aging the caster 10 years for each divine- oh, for each divine intervention. Recovery from this spell is shortened with skill and light magic. I didn't see a period there, that was throwing me off. Alright, so it's too late to go sell this stuff. Hopefully I won't get too much from the Cave of the Dragon Riders. What's this? Uh, yeah, whatever. Sorbigal. Which time I can fly. Good. Everything else, I guess I can cast this again. Can we assist you? Okay. Let's beacon, recall, pre expire. Actually, did I already place a beacon here? Oh, well, if I did, it's gone. So back this way, um, if I can't clear out the, the Dragon Riders area, then I'm going to try to um, get the NWC buffs. And if that doesn't help me enough, then I'm just going to say forget it and go to Varn now. So let's see what I can do with what I have now. Still taking a lot of damage. And I don't think I'm taking as much as I was before. Keep casting power cure, it should be fine. Okay. See a few of them went back into the hall. So I think I'm going to leave all the corpses there for now. I don't remember this dungeon having particularly good loot. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's really good. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm just going to come back for this loot after I've cleared out some of my inventory. Here's what I'm gonna do. Shrap okay. metal. It's a ready spell. 
Um, she is not now. Oh, there's only one left. I can take him. Alright. Alright, this is very doable now. This is very, very doable. Uh, hang on one moment. Okay. Alright. Um... I will have her place the beacon here. We'll go back to New Sorpical. Um Actually I guess I'll just come back and get all that stuff after I end the video and then sell all my stuff and everything. Or maybe I'll get it in the next video. I don't know. So I don't think I'm going to be spending too much time in Vard in this video, but I will at least show off some of it. Okay, that little part of the map wasn't filling in. Alright, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. You... Should have your quick spell be Toxic Cloud. This is going very well. Once I have it down to one or two left, it oh, okay. Okay, okay, this is... This is not ideal. Uh, hang on, guys. Just, uh, wait, wait for me. How much damage did they do? How is she unconscious and not dead if they did that much damage to her? Who made her afraid? Uh, my mouse over. All right. Who's ready for more? Hold on, low on spell points. Back to this room later. Can we assist you? I'll be with you. Actually, hang on. So he has um, 159 points. It's fixed. 159 spell points to use. Anything else major get broken? That's beyond my skill. Fixed. Um, so he has 139 skill points to use. Um, I'm gonna put that many in line magic. I wanted to have one to have at least 119 skill points left. And then for him. I don't even know. Still at the armor class. We 
guess I can increase the damage he does with his swords. Let's see here. So, his damage right now is 85 to 97. So if I increase swords... Still 85 to 97. Let's stop with it. Well, wait, hang on. Plus 88. Plus 89. Eh. Eh. I guess I'll increase his learning. So. He has the best learning now, actually. I am still falling for a few traps. Well, he's not properly disarming them. So, I'll increase that a little bit more. And... Alright. I want... Actually, I want them all to have at least 119 skill points. After I clear out Varn. Because reasons. This room should be... ...worn down enough that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. and take that off as her, uh... ...spell. She doesn't need one. Shrap metal's more than enough. Wow, he... ...has a very small hitbox compared to... Looking like. I wish so many of those blades were missing. Trap metal destroys them. Yes, we got it. Yeah. Wanted him to deal the final blow so he could nice. get some of his health back. Uh, leave the stuff there. Mm. It's so tempting to take everything, but I'm not going to. This way. Gotta keep in mind, no more shrap metal for now, so don't rely on that. Okay, hopefully. Yes, uh, okay, let's take out the worm first. Got the poison art. Alright, I got it. Alright, yeah, um... I'm going to spend the rest of the video on Varn, because that's... I'll come back to that area in the next... Can we assist you? I mean, if I'm going to have to come back there anyway to pick up everything that I'm leaving behind... Um, then I might as well just wait and come back there in the next video anyway. I don't really need Fly, but I feel slightly more comfortable Can having it on. Alright, now back to Varn. Come on, let's, let's get these guys before they fly away. You know what I could do, actually? White Beacon, place right here. Kind of world of new Sorper Gold. Or no. Uh, oh, when did that happen? Fixed. Crap, when did all this happen? Fixed. Alright. It was just those two. Thanks. Now we call this, and there you are. Don't run away. There we go. 
and I'm green. And you're about to see nice. demonstration of how big Varn is. So this is the first room in Varn. Let's see how much of it we can already see on the map. Um, yeah, the area I've cleared out so far is this little line down here. This is the first room I'm stepping into, and this isn't even close to the entire thing. So, um, here we go. So this is the first room in the Tomb of Horn. As you can see, there aren't many enemies in this room. But there are a few kind of hiding in the corners, so you can't really get too careful here. I don't remember exactly what these things do. Are these... Okay, this is, um... Later in the dungeon, you might be taking radiation damage. If that happens, you come here and you step in the cleansing pools. But I believe these crystal skulls should absorb radiation damage, which means I should give this to her. Because if anybody's alive, it should be her, so she can uh, heal everybody else. Alright, so let's now explore this room. And there's a good chance that just exploring this room alone will take us to the end of the video. So, as you can see, there's more, uh, I was going to call them sentinels, but I guess I'll call them varns. Because, I mean, only one of them are actually called sentinels. But then again, I, I referred to the, uh, I don't know, whatever, the varns, I'm just going to call them varns, even though varn is, well, I guess maybe varn was a person, or, I don't know, because this is the tomb of varn, this place itself isn't varn, but, uh, I'm just going to call them Varns anyway, if that's inaccurate, whatever, I don't care. So the Varns are up there, um, kind of looking down, and I see a few Varns have already noticed me. They're up here. So the low-level Varns are pretty easy to kill, the ones with the blue shorts. Although they would be pretty strong in the groups. The purple ones are slightly harder, although again, by themselves, not very much. Um, I should do this by height instead of... Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to finish exploring this area, then I'll go check down everywhere at the bottom, and then move, move my way up. Start clearing it out that way. And I am going to be saving and loading my save to get the music going again. Alright, so I will come back up there momentarily. No fall damage. I don't think this torch really does anything. Um, here's the cleansing pool. Basically, similar to what we saw over there. Um, you can see these nice little designs right there. The plaques say, Warning! Power fluctuations! Alert engineering immediately! In case of energy leak, bathe in one of the medicated pools placed for your safety and convenience. And then it should say the same, yeah, same things over here. Um, and then this door... It's not going to be openable until... I'm pretty sure you have to open it from the other side, actually. Oh, the, the Varns are already coming for me. Actually, this is a good opportunity to take out a lot of them now. This isn't as cheap as it seems, because there are going to be a lot of them later. So, taking some of them out now isn't going to be too big of a deal. I mean, hey, it's their fault for coming to me anyway. I was just trying to check out the door. How much health do these guys have? Alright, I'm 
getting close. Some of them are already starting to run away. Alright, that's good for now, I guess. Why is one of them not... Oh, are they immune to fire magic? Let's see if I can hit him through here. I can. Alright, I'll just take him out. Yeah, the ones in the red are quite strong. I mean, I guess by themselves they don't pose much of a threat, but... Once you have even, like, two or three of them, you're getting yourself into a into a non-trivial battle. What I'm saying is don't take them lightly. They're maybe about the same strength as the Cuisinarts, or maybe slightly weaker. But I don't know. Oh man, this place is so huge. Oh, okay. I guess I already explored over there. Let's go this way now. So this area is basically the entrance after that little preview area that I cleared out in the last video. And there are multiple paths here that you can take as for where to go next. And I already got some attention on me. Oh no, they're all three reds. Yeah, so three of them managed to almost kill the end and get Deanna and Joshipu about halfway down. Let's wait until later when there are large rooms in them. Oh yeah, my statuette's gone because I placed it. I guess I can put my horses up here now and have a nice little 4x4 four four of them. And we get consistently more than a thousand gold from them, which is nice. Not going up yet. We can go in here, this is one of the first path options to take, the plaque says, The entrance to the central pyramid lies to the south. So that's not the entrance to the central pyramid, that's... something. There's another path up here. Are there enemies standing right inside? There are. Don't read hieroglyphs unless I have one of those little translating things in front of me. And I don't even know if these are real... real Egyptian hieroglyphs, so I'm not even going to try to read them. I can't think of any other game I've played that's had a dungeon and a pyramid, especially not one as big as this. So that's... Um, I could try to jump up there and open that door, but it'll be quite easy to open from the other side, so I'll just come around and do it. There. And that sound means it's time to reset the music. Ah, nice little floor thing there. Alright, I can get that get up there without jumping, I think. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so now we explore this level. Let's try to get them in better shape.
so hope you like this setting because this is where we will be spending the majority of the next uh, three or four or five videos probably. And if it looks a little bit redundant right now, it's just because this is what this one room looks like. There's more variety in the other rooms, there's like pools and libraries and things like that. Nobody's gonna attack me right now, I think. And you open this door, and you could step outside, but you would just fall down here. That's the little door that I was telling you I'll get from the other side. So I guess I'll go up on this side. Hopefully no enemies. I think there might be enemies right there. Yep, I'm being pursued. Alright, let's go take him out. At least I'm gonna be pretty rich when I'm out of this- Oh, look at that! I'm over a million! Over a million by less than a thousand, meaning picking up that last corpse that had more than a thousand gold on it is the one that got us to be millionaires. Alright, nothing up here. I'm not sure if this is the top of the dungeon or not. Like, there might be other parts of the dungeon that go up higher than this. I'm not sure. Why is he running away? green. What? Yeah, I'm quite sure I picked that one up twice, so I don't know what the deal is there. Still not the morning yet. See another gin. No, don't, don't do this. Gin. Jin, come on. Alright! Well, I didn't want to do this, but, uh... Forced my hand. Turn-based mode it is. Oh, do I still have... Oh, I still have Acid vs. Quick Spell. Oh, that would... I guess you must have been using that in the Cave of the Dragon Riders when I was holding S then. No, no, don't, don't. Don't put Deanna to sleep. Don't put Deanna to sleep either. Don't stop putting us to sleep. Alright. We got him! Alright. And I see. Let's keep exploring around up here. I think that's pretty much everything in this first room. See somebody running away over there. Might have been somebody I hit from the door. Nothing up here. What's, what's that? Is that... No? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was a bad idea. What did I just do? Yeah, I remember this really, really long elevator. Um, warning, cargo lift controls are strictly off-limits to unauthorized personnel. Use of the sign of the scarab is restricted to supply officers only. A mild electric shock will be transmitted to violators. Okay. Hmm. 
No, no, don't leave. Okay, same thing. So that's if you go down, I guess. Um, where does this... Oh, okay. I guess it wouldn't hurt to take out these dragons over here. There's only two of them. What do I have that's making little explosions? Oh, that must be his spell that he's casting on me. Sidon. This trident is probably what inspired the Regnan navy to adopt the trident as their favorite weapon of war. Poseidon fills his wielder with a frightening battle rage, increasing the wielder's might, endurance, and accuracy at the cost of personal safety. So consuming, so consuming is the wielder's desire to smite his enemies while using Poseidon that he neglects to dodge blows he might otherwise have avoided. On the other hand, dead enemies usually don't fight back. Special powers, plus 20 might, plus 20 endurance, plus 20 accuracy, minus 10 armor class, and minus 10 speed. All right, well, I, I want do. to at least have that. That probably takes up two rows. All right, goodbye, Power Staff of Gold. Hello, Poseidon. Very nice. So, yeah, I collected that one corpse three times. So now I know I'm not just going crazy with the. Uh, uh, That's beyond my skill. Okay, I should be able to move this over here, this into her inventory, and then I still can't pick that up. It takes three. Oh, there we go. All right. What about this one? Mace. I don't know. Not bad. Very nice. I might use that with her actually. All right. So anyway, we can recall this uh, Tomb of Arm Beacon. Here. I can just run back up to the top now, but I do want to. That's beyond my skill. I'll repair the stuff after the video so you don't have to watch because it'll take a few minutes. So many things got broken. That varn is on me again. I'm not clicking that again. Well, at least not right now. Maybe eventually. Actually, that looks like it just took me right here. Maybe that was an elevator down or something. Alright. So with this, I say welcome to Varn. Um, that's the end of the video. It's now early enough or late enough in the morning that I can go sell a bunch of my stuff. Um, that's all. Get ready for more Dragon Riders Dungeon in the next video, and then Barn for the next several videos. Uh, I guess I'll place my uh, save point near the door. That's all. And that's all.